POV is Sunday. It's a few days before my kids start school and we're talking about a hurricane watch today. All of a sudden here in California, never heard of a hurricane in this generation or the last one, or I don't even think the one before that. So far so good. I don't make sure everything, insurances and all that are paid up so we are good to go. But the fact that there is a hurricane in California is absolutely insane. I'm gonna go ahead and keep myself distracted by looking good. I feel like if we are having a hurricane today and we gotta evacuate. At least I'll be doing it in style. So I just went ahead and styled this beautiful wig courtesy of Arabella Hair. She's a gorgeous highlight blonde lace wig. She has like a honey brown, honey blonde vibe to her. And you'll see how I installed her. And then I went ahead and styled her with like a no parting, like flip over, super big vibe. After that, I kind of defined the curls and wet her down a little bit and gave you guys a half up, half down action. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial because I've gotta go ahead and watch the news. I don't even watch the news, but I need to make sure that me and my kids are gonna be safe and that they can go to school this week. So go ahead and watch the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Keep California in your prayers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, my loves, here is the star of the show. This one here is a piano color water wave. 13 by 4 HD lace front wig. This is what she looks like on. If I did not mention, she is a free part, so you can part her on each side in the center or however you like. Here is a look at the hairline as well as what it looks like styled as a center part. This one comes as a 13 by 4 lace or a 5 by 5 lace closure. I did choose the 13 by 4. Here, I just really wanted to do like a no part flip over. So I was kind of like trying it on and just seeing how that would look before I even start. I decided that was going to be option number one. And then you've seen in the intro, we're going to do a low ponytail, half up, half down situation as the second style. For my first step, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the excess lace around the ears. Second step is just going to be to do the dynamic duo along the hairline. This is going to help me make sure that the hairline is super duper flawless, which is a major key when it comes to doing like a no part flip over. If you're going to do no part, if you're going to do like big and blah blah boom, you have to make sure that the hairline is snatched. And you guys can see it's coming out real, real, real snatched just with these two products used. As you can see, it's coming out super snatched just with the wax and the hot comb here i'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace you guys can see how beautiful the hairline looks and how it's already coming together i love the fact that they pre-plucked the hairline and although it did look full in the very beginning once you begin the customization process you can see that you don't need to customize or pluck the hairline at all after i went ahead and cut off all of the excess lace from ear to ear i'm going to go ahead and bond it down except we're going to do it glueless i'm using a super hold stronghold hairspray and this one comes from bedhead i do pick it up from target but i can link it in the description box for you guys and whenever i do it this way i kind of cut off all the lace so that i work in sections i did the center first and then i did one side and then i did the third side it works better that way that way i can just make sure everything is bonded down and look at this magic i went ahead and used my lace tint of choice which is a foundation powder and i just generously buffed it along the hairline and you guys can see how beautifully that made the hairline blend with my complexion super duper simple and easy now that we've done that let's go ahead and add a little bit of baby hair and edges for me i wanted sideburns today and i didn't really know how i wanted to do it at first so i went ahead and just separated the section that was going to be sideburns i did the dynamic duo on the sideburns and then i kind of just used um, a razor to kind of like fan them short now i did do just typical sideburns where i use mousse on one side and i realized it will look better with edge control on the opposite side but really i should have used the mousse along the ends and kept them long and curly but you know i can do that on a different day now i'm just pulling out hairs from the front i didn't want it to be too uniform um initially in my mind i was thinking more so like edges instead of baby hair what i should have done was like use um, the hairspray to kind of just mold them a little bit but kind of just fan them out opposed to like swooping them but again I had an idea in my mind but I went literally for what I typically would do which is my two swoops one above each eyebrow and then the slicked down sideburns and of course it came out amazing but it kind of is like I was telling myself what I wanted to do but also doing the opposite in real life and you can see for sure these came out super slayed and super sleek so you can't even tell I made a mistake 
now we are pretty much done because we made the hairline so flawless all i really wanted to do was kind of like make a little bit of the parting peek out just a little bit and just keep it super big i did take pictures like this because this is exactly how i wanted to wear it look how beautiful this looks i kind of combed it out a little bit more here and i loved loved the vibe i feel like this color complements my complexion so well even though it's like a blonde you know like a blonde brown color that's like unnatural for me it just pairs it's like the brown in this kind of is almost my skin tone in a way i can't describe it but it's absolutely gorgeous and it just radiates on my skin now that we've done that hairstyle i know you guys want to see what this one will look like with a little definition so i did go ahead and add my mousse and i was super generous i did use the design essentials first but i literally ran out during the process so i did switch over to the lot of body mousse and i did add a little bit of water to stretch that product and then i used the dimming brush to clump it now with this hair because it's blonde and it's been you know chemically processed to get this beautiful color i do find that when you use hair that has been colored it does need a little bit more moisture so what i can say it would be best to wash this hair and condition it to use less products and or adding a leave-in conditioner before the mousse process because again no matter how much product i use it wanted to be a little bit more on the fluffy side which was absolutely beautiful the hair in a dry state kind of gives like big lotto her natural hair complexion to me and then when it's wet it does look a little bit more um dark or deep in the browns I did opt for a low ponytail, like a half up, half down, but I kept it kind of low opposed to going high. And I love the way this look came out. I wanted it to be big instead of clump. So I just add a little bit of hairspray and smooth that down. This one is linked in the description box and the color combo is a 427. Super gorgeous and she's 26 inches in length. Okay babies, we are done with the look and I love it. For some reason lately, I've been loving my curly extensions big and va va voom like a flawless hairline a flawless install and then just comb out the ends and let it be super big no product just really 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 big and natural but i know you guys want to see the versatility and the curl in the hair so i did that and i had my little moment with that and then i gave you guys a little bit of a finished look i just wanted to show you the vibe this one did come from arabella hair and you guys already know the vibes with arabella this is the dust bag that the wig comes in and then inside there's a little bit of mousse on it and then they also gave me this little goodie bag here and then inside this goodie bag we have just a regular pack of wig caps we also have a pink baby hairbrush then we also have a pack of lashes super nice a melt belt and it's pink and black with the arabella words all over it and then you know just a cute little hairpin and this one is shaped like scissors you just put it into your hair like a little bobby pin you can put it on the side like this and that will look super cute especially when i had it with like no parting the side that's like the smallest will look really really cute as far as the look i feel like when it's dry like right now it's wet because i added the mousse but i feel like this color combo you guys know you do i do like the brown blonde highlight combos it gives beyonce before this one was wet when it was dry it's such a soft smooth texture and even the hairline you didn't even have to customize it for it to look this good let me know what you guys think of this one i think the length the color the density everything about this one is amazing and i think it just sets it off that you didn't have to customize the hairline it already came plucked enough and all of that there's versatility because again you can wear it in the big dry style you can wear it in the wet defined style you can pull it apart and do like wet but big and then of course i can diffuse this up to have like the more defined curly but big still so you can kind of play with your curls and do different things i would love for you to check this one out i have a direct link in the description box also subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches